Hey guys, Crew Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. Shane. Rick. I'm Calvin. Eric. And we're here for this Joker trailer. This is the final trailer for Joker, which uh, I still think is super interesting in terms of like a smaller, less budgeted film from DC, not connected with their bigger universe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I, I, you know, it's one of those things where like, well, do I want an origin to the Joker? But I also kind of do, so I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, it, it just... If I love it, then I'll love it. If I don't like it, I'm going to say they didn't need Solid. it. Solid. <laughs> yeah. Solid what you just I said. I mean, with Walking Phoenix connected to it, yeah. I'm just like more hopeful now, mm -hmm. honestly. Yeah. It's a very different look from what we saw before of like yeah. what I would expect sure. out of the Joker, so I'm very interested in what they're going to do. Yeah. I've, I've seen other origins to the Joker, but I would like to see this origin to the Joker, just because it's so different from everything else that I've seen. You think? Maybe it's the same. You can't yeah, everything. I don't yet. think it will be. Just based on the casting and the first trailer that we saw. I can't ever think of an origin story that's been like mysterious for a long amount of time and then they finally tell it to you and I've been satisfied. True. Ever. Yeah. So, yeah. but maybe this will be the first one. Okay. Well, Never know. Uh, hopefully it doesn't spoil it. And we don't know after watching this trailer. But let's watch it. Check it out. Hopefully. Bothering my kid? Sorry. Hey, lady. Bothering? I have some bad news for you. <laughs> this is the last time we'll be meeting. You don't listen, do you? You just ask the same questions every week. How's your job? Are you having any negative thoughts? All I have are negative thoughts. And finally, in a world where everyone thinks they can do my job, check out this guy. When I was a little boy and told people I was going to be a comedian, everyone laughed at me. Well, no one's laughing now. You can say that again, pal. Oh, that's Robert De Niro. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's so awful, isn't it? <coughs> For my whole life, I didn't know if I even really existed. But I do. Oh, shit. <laughs> and people are starting to notice. You think this is funny? <laughs> is this a joke to you? <laughs> Oh, man. You're kind of going crazy. Uh, Murray, one small thing. Yeah. When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Joker? Cigarette. Is he smoking? Or, yeah. All right. All right. It, it, it's like a different mannerism, too, for oh, yeah. him whenever you see him, like, I imagine earlier on, to like later on when he's like just the Joker and he's kind of walking. I feel a little bit more Joker. He's got the. You know I mean? It's like, like, well, because I mean, he's not anybody until he becomes the Joker, you know? Yeah. Like, that's the, that's the best part about an origin like this is like. This is about him finding himself, you yeah. know? Because yeah. I always thought, like, well, what is the Joker without Batman? Like, is that, what, like, what does he overcome? Like, how does he change? What's the interesting part if we don't have that double coin and look, you know? Mm -hmm. But this is about, like, a man finding his confidence. He just yeah. happens to become a supervillain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's him becoming the Joker, and then once he is that, it's like, well, what am I now? And then you yeah. find the bat, and then that's, yeah. that's where it plays into, you know? Yeah. So, like, you know, it is it is that kind of, like, classic, like, you could have a trailer like this and, like, become what you were born to be, and it's, like, epic and stuff, and you're like, oh, a superhero that I know, but this is the this is the flip side of that. Right. Yeah, this is, yeah. This is, uh, like, that kind of chaos and depression and stuff, and it's just, you know, I mean, we've seen that clip in the last trailer where he's forcing himself to smile mm -hmm. and stuff. He's, like, crazy. crying and stuff. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. just becomes the epitome of chaos. It was, yeah. like, a 
real serious look at it though. Yeah, that's oh, why yeah, I like a really yeah. serious take on on the joke, which is cool. Yeah. If anything, it's got that going for it. Yeah. It's weird. It reminds me a little bit of uh, the movie with Leonardo DiCaprio where he was Howard Hughes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The, the, the Aviator. The Aviator. Yeah. 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 yeah to just like some of the shots and stuff of like him and um, him early on being bathed by his mother and stuff. Yeah. Just like the lighting or something reminded yeah. me of. No, it. I, I get you there. Um, it is. It's one of those things where it's like you know, how do you do so well? I mean, you, how do you do so well what's already been done so well? Yeah. Like he, he Ledger rocked it as the Joker, mm-hmm. and they made a lot of choices that are way different than that. You know. Yeah. It's definitely like an older Joker too. You know. Yeah. Not, yeah. It's, it's well, it's older like and you know younger, I guess, because like you know, like that guy is Thomas Wayne. That's there. Yeah. But he's there's, still alive. No, I don't think Batman will appear in this story. Other no. than I guess in that one trailer we had, like it, we that thought is was Thomas Boy. Wayne. Now? Yeah, that's Thomas Wayne because we saw Bruce Wayne in the last trailer when he's that kid that through the gate. You know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, that's Thomas Wayne. Because I, I, the one thing I knew about the movie was that they tried to get a uh, uh, what actor? The guy that plays to- Donald Trump on SNL now. Uh, oh, Baldwin. Alec Baldwin. Alec yeah. Baldwin. They tried to get him to be Thomas Wayne, and he ended up not liking the role, uh, so well, they gave it to another person. Yeah, I was gonna say this guy does remind me a lot of Alec Baldwin. So yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I can see why they they cast yeah. him. Maybe Robert De Niro. And Robert De Niro. Robert yeah. De Niro is like, like a, a talk like, show, like host. a talk show host. Yeah. 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 yeah, different role for him. I feel like it is. Yeah. The uh, you know, call me the Joker scene really reminded me of like I'm the human spider. What? <laughs> What'd you say? Yeah. Spider Man. The amazing. You know. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Uh, all right. Um, the shots look great. I think the direction is cool. I, I just wonder like. Like, is this a three act structure? Is there a villain? <laughs> you know, yeah. like Joker seems you... to have a girlfriend. Yeah, there's a girlfriend. Um, yeah. There's a lot of questions. The mother. I have on the story, which, I mean, we'll get the answers in October and yeah. stuff, yeah. but, like, I'm really curious on the progression, and, yeah. like, what is he fighting? Why is there a bunch of clowns all through the city, exactly? Yeah. You know, like, what's... How does he inspire them? And yeah. what does he inspire them to do? Yeah, because yeah. the way he's Seems talking Seems like a bunch there, of bad shit. The way he's talking there is, like, no one knows me, but now they're starting to. So, like, he must do something that the clowns are, like, support for him. So, I imagine no one knows who he is without the Joker face. Yeah. Like, like yeah. that persona. You sure. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then... So he's there in the crowd, and there's other clowns and whatnot, but they don't know who he is until he is the Joker. Yeah, and then he takes out the mask, and he still has the makeup on. And he's at the time the Joker, mm-hmm. even without the mask. And they remind me a lot of the mask from the Dark Knight in the beginning when they robbed the bank. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They remind me a lot about a lot of them. Yeah. Oh no, I don't mean like they don't know who he is because he's wearing the clown mask. I mean they don't know who he is because he doesn't have anything. Yeah. Like yeah. just as no who face he, paint or anything. Yeah, any yeah. of that. Yeah. Whoa. Well, yeah. Like they only know him as the sh- on the talk show. Yeah. With, with the face and everything. Yeah. Like, I'm the Joker. Call me the Joker. Yeah. Like, I feel like that's who they know. And then once he takes all that off, he's just walking down the street. Well, I mean, no one has any idea. Another part of the Dark Knight is whenever uh, they have the honor guard like shooting. Like Heath Ledger is there without any makeup. Mm-hmm. He's right. just there. You know. No one pays attention. His, his mouth scars. Yeah, you see but the yeah. scars, but that's it. He can kind of get away with it. Yeah. Yeah. Um. You know what? This is gonna sound really weird, but it's it's similar to me. Like going into this movie is similar to the way I feel like I'm gonna go into the Mister Rogers movie, where I'm thinking like, what is the arc that this character goes on? Like, I, you know, every morning I did this, and then one day this happened, and now this happens to me. You know, yeah. like Mister Rogers would probably just feel the same throughout the movie. Like he just don't want to blemish the guy. You know, the Joker like he is insane and he's crazy, and it doesn't make sense why. But now am I going to be like, oh, that makes yeah. sense. Why? Or am I still going to feel like, why is he doing these things? Because I can't understand his madness. Well, his girlfriend you know? can also change. And like Mr. Rogers, definitely the journalist who's interviewing him yeah. will change. I mean, it could be the same arc as the Clockwork Orange, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. Like, not all protagonists need to be good guys. Oh, no, of course not. Um, yeah. Or relatable, even. Mm-hmm. No, uh, but you do need to like feel like you're going on a... Journey like a them. journey with them, you know. They, so. they, you still want them to, or you want or don't want them to overcome something. What's the obstacles and what's yeah. the, what like what's going on? With yeah, them? I mean the one thing about Heath Ledger in The Dark Knight was like you, I, I found myself like liking and almost rooting for him sometimes. He's Same like, with Hannibal Lecter. Yeah, you know, like I'm, I'm, and you don't cast Joaquin Phoenix in a movie like this and not like you know he's going to do that for us. But it's one of those things where it's like I hope it's not, you know. Like, I don't want to understand the madness. Because one, I don't want to go mad. Two, you know, I like the mystery, too. So yeah. I, I'm really interested to see how they, how they do it. I think they're going to be smart about it. So I hope so. It, it looks like 
it looks like a really just completely different take yeah on on showing the joker without joker yeah honestly it kind of seems it's not like one of those movies i necessarily want to go see in a theater it's like one i kind of want to be like by myself in the dark like at home or something sure. in a watching, hotel you know yeah, yeah. exactly naked with the hook thanks guys for watching the final trailer of the joker if you want to come back and see the review we'll probably do it so come back and check. We do the movie Eric, why not? Reviews all the time. Also, commentaries and reaction. You can vote on those over at patreon.com slash Check them out here on the channel. Mm -hmm. Do it! I know you can.